forest fires are a destructive but necessary part of a forest's life cycle. Scientists at the Royal Alberta Museum are making amazing discoveries about how forests regenerate after these important events. Beetles are often thought of as pests, but what do they do? What is their purpose? Dr. Tyler Cobb, curator of invertebrate zoology, has been studying beetles for over a decade, and his current studies are challenging conventional beliefs about beetles. Well, this project started out as uh, an investigation of the impacts of salvage logging, the, the harvesting of burned wood after a forest fire to recover some of the economic value. We found there was lots of species um, that are highly associated with these burned forests. Um, these, are, these are species of beetles that are called pyrophilus or fire loving. And, and we were finding that salvage logging had a, had a significant impact on them. It was found in these burned forests uh, in big numbers, which is its normal habitat, but then in salvaged areas it was absent. And that, that really stimulated the sort of the question of, you know, what, what kind of impacts is salvage logging really having on this species? It was Tyler's curiosity that led to the understanding that the white-spotted sawyer isn't a pest at all, but a major player in the regeneration of a forest after a fire. A forest fires are a natural disturbance. Uh, these, these organisms are adapted to this disturbance, and uh, immediately after a fire goes through, I mean, immediately, within the first few hours, uh, the forest is alive again. And among the first organisms on the scene, the white-spotted sawyer. The white spotted sawyer has very long antenna. It uses the antenna to uh, smell or taste the smoke, and that's how it tracks forest fires. The white spotted sawyer lays hundreds of eggs on the newly burnt tree. A few days later, larvae hatch from these eggs and begin feeding under the bark. And it is these larvae that make a remarkable contribution to the life cycle of the forest. The white spotted sawyer spends a year to a year and a half in the larval stage. They started hearing this very weird sound, this rocking chair sound coming from all the trees. It turned out it was the white spotted sawyer, uh, the larvae feeding underneath the bark that was causing the sound. And as it's feeding, uh, it moves the frass out to the surface, pushes it out of the galleries so that it builds up around the base of the tree. Tyler and his team set up a two-year experiment using enclosures in the field to isolate the frass and examine the effects it was having on the forest. What we found with that study was that the organic nutrients that are in frass actually stimulated microbial activity, uh, which tend to break down that organic material into a form that plants can use. Without the beetles, you don't have this nutrient cycling pathway, uh, the microbial community is not stimulated, and the plant growth that, that is using those nutrients is also not present. It was Tyler's curiosity that led to these amazing discoveries. If he hadn't wondered what that chewing sound was, the white-spotted sawyer may still be considered a pest to this day. One of the recommendations from this study, in addition to leaving some wood behind for these, these species to develop, uh, is to delay salvage logging to allow the species to go through its life cycle and contribute the nutrients to the soil. This study and others like it have helped to raise awareness about the ecological importance of early post-fire habitats so that even now there is increasing effort in Alberta to leave some burnt trees behind. <laughs>